How can you synchronize your Apple Health data with your Notion database? How can you fetch the data from your Apple devices, such as sleep quality, workouts, weights, uh, directly to your Notion workspaces? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. For this integration to work, first you need to install this health auto export data to your Apple device. I explained how to do it in a previous video, so if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. So for the integration to Notion directly from your auto export app, we will use make.com uh, platform, previously known as Integromat. We will create a scenario which will fetch the data from our uh, health auto export app or from our Apple device and um, uh, directly uh, add it to our Notion databases. I'm going to walk you through the webhook or the scenario that I set up for myself, but you feel free to adjust it to your own needs. So let's take a look at what this automation actually does in the end. For me, it fetches Apple Health data every day and adds it to my Notion uh, daily tracking database. So I have a record for each day uh, in my Notion and what this automation does is basically um, gets the data from Apple Health, uh, such as uh, time, uh, such as sleep quality data, some various uh, sleep metrics, uh, body weight data, and also uh, workouts, and directly adds it to my uh, Notion fully automatically. So how to create this scenario in make.com platform? After you've installed your Health Auto Expert app, the first step is to create a scenario with a custom webhook. Um, you need to receive the data from uh, your Apple device through the Health Export app uh, via this webhook. So you can just copy uh, and paste this uh, link to the Health Auto Expert app and um, uh, through that app you can uh, start sending the Apple Health data to this webhook and it will get fetched to this, uh, uh, to this make.com platform. After you set up the webhook, you will be able to receive the data uh, from your Apple device to this make.com platform. At this step, we can see the various data uh, such as uh, body weight data, uh, we also have the sleep analysis data uh, and we can start manipulating or operating with these uh, parameters and these properties uh, the way we want and uh, mm, set up the next step of our Notion integration. So the next step is to actually uh, find the Notion record where we want to enter this uh, data from the Apple Health webhook. So with this step, we will select the database into which we want to be pushing our Apple Health data. In my case, this database is called daily tracking. In your case, it might be something different, but you basically can find this database ID and copy paste it there. Um, so what this step will actually do, search objects, uh, it will find an object inside this database. And by default, it, um, uh, it searches and finds the latest available object. And the latest available object is uh, by default the one that has the most recent date. So uh, it's uh, uh, the daily tracking item for this day, for today. So it works well uh, for me. But if you want to um, like add data for the past uh, days or like the, from the week ago, uh, you might need a different setup. So this one modifies the properties only for the records uh, that are from today, the latest records in the Notion database. Once you found this uh, record, uh, you can start updating it. So at this step, you can modify the fields of the records in your Notion database. So once you put the um, page ID from 
uh, the previous step into the next step, uh, you can start uh, adding and pushing new data into this page. So if you have a, a, a field like a, a REM sleep, for example, uh, you can uh, directly take the, this data from your Apple Health and uh, add it here. To add the data from the webhook into this field, all you have to do is to open this window and to find this uh, webhook data uh, there on the right and uh, find the, the data that you want to use. So for in my case, I want to use the RAM sleep data and I just simply drag and drop this RAM field into this RAM sleep notion um, a notion notion uh, field in my notion uh, database so i have a bunch of uh, different fields in my table uh, but your solution can be like different and like whatever you want it to be and whatever uh, fields you want to in the end uh, fetch from your apple device uh, you can also fetch dates and times for example here I'm fetching the uh, start sleep uh, sleep start times, and I can do it in a similar way. Just um, drag and drop this date field, and it will basically fetch this data into my Notion later on. Uh, make sure to include the time as well. All right. So once you added all these fields, uh, you can save this and uh, at this stage the integration should already be working so you can um, run it once and and test it for yourself okay so let's see on the example of my existing scenario so i press run it once and i open my notion let's say uh, we don't have this data yet so I, what I'm doing right now, I'm opening my uh, Health Auto Export app on my iPhone and I press export the data uh, or I just open it and it exports automatically. So what happens there, it uh, fetches the data to uh, the make.com. It already did it uh, in this first step. Now it starts uh, looking for the notion object it starts updating it and yep voila we have the data for uh, uh, from apple health automatically fetched to notion what you can also do is you can fetch your uh, workout data and it would look something like this where we have a, a, a separate table with all your different workouts, uh, all uh, kind of uh, calories that you burn through those workouts, heart rates, uh, speed, distance, kilometers, etc. etc. You can uh, get this data from your Apple, Apple Health, Apple device, any type of data you can add to your notion. How to how I did it is basically uh, added an extra two steps after the first one in the same scenario and that's where i'm looking for um, i'm looking for the workout that i fetch during the this first uh, webhook um, so if i don't find this workout in my uh, database it means that this workout doesn't yet exist and I can add it uh, to my Notion database. So what this step does is it looks at the previous 10 workouts in my workouts database. This is the workout database ID. And it basically asks whether I have the workout with the same name in this workout database so uh, we avoid adding duplicate uh, workouts and then if it doesn't there is a filter so if it doesn't exist yet uh, we create a new database uh, a record in notion for this new 
workout. I really like this make.com platform uh, for this particular use case because it's quite fast and uh, the webhook gets processed within seconds and uh, it has a lot of functionality, advanced features in terms of filtering and integrations. You can actually achieve what you want there if you have a certain level of knowledge about how make.com works. For example, if you want to use Zapier for this integration, you cannot do it because uh, in Zapier there is not enough features and filters for you to be, be able to process uh, the, the data from Apple Health and put it in Notion in this format. Still to note that this platform is not free and currently I'm paying something around 10 bucks per month for man maintaining this uh, integration but so I would pay the same in Zapier or Automate.io or potentially even, even higher price. So I feel like given the level of this particular app, it, the, the price is kind of justifiable. So I'll leave the link to make platform in the description. Um, go check it out. And if you find it valuable, uh, drop me a comment. If you want to find any other topics or uh, see any other Notion integrations, uh, let me know also in the comments uh, to the video about what kind of other videos, other integrations you want to see in the future. Thank you for watching and take care.